I just had an insulting job interview. I sent an application to a company that repairs Konex containers as they were looking for a welder. And I happened to be one. I got there and was shown around the shop. Since the hall where the containers were being repaired was too small they did most of their work. Outdoors. The whole year no matter the temperatures, leather. This had me raise an eyebrow. And number 10. However. The highlight of the interview. I would earn about $16 per hour and work 45 hours a week. And number 10. The interviewer then complained to me. 23 years old that he was disappointed that the young people weren't willing to work anymore, and number 10. I'm still in doubt whether to laugh or cry. Companies will never change this mindset until we stand up against them. My cousin used to work at a place that custom machined pieces for things. Classic cars, medical equipment, anything that was needed that wasn't produced anymore. They worked him 50 hours a week. Overtime pay was maxed at 6.5 hours a week. Tons of mandatory overtime. Then he got fed up. Bought his own equipment. And started his own business. 20 years later he's got a list of clients a mile long. And the company he worked for has been closed for something like 15 years. The best they could pay machinists was $12 an hour in 2000. Edit. Slight contextual change regarding OT hours. For reference minimum wage in my region is 15 per hour, like teenagers stocking dollar store shelves. FL here. I literally had almost the same deal. But welding commercial trash cans. Brush grinding. Jack hammering. Spray painting. $16 per hour. No travel pay. No benefits. FYI. The job will destroy your health. Every single aspect of the work is exposure to radiation. Toxic particles. And toxic paint fumes. Did I mention welding trash cans outside in Florida during summer with no cover? I'm about to start a housekeeping business and will pay roughly the same hourly rate starting out. But with $100 referral bonuses and employees get 3% of billing for all accounts they retain beyond 6 months. I'd be pretty embarrassed to be making less money than a housekeeper working 32 hours a week if I were a welder killing myself in the heat and guaranteeing terminal cancer by age 60. If you're going to put your body on the line, the money needs to match. Forklift driver here. Can't find forklift work over $16 either. I also have a chauffeur's license. No one is willing to pay livable wages these days. Show him what a $16 an hour weld looks like compared to a $20. And a $25 an hour weld. Let him make the decision. They probably haven't been hiring ever since 15 bucks was decent money. I'd think you'd make more as a welder than that. I hate when they don't put pay rate in the job description. I won't even show up to an interview until I know it's worth my time. I'm not gonna waste 30 minutes of both our time for you to offer me a wage a high schooler could. Get at a fast food restaurant. He was disappointed that the young people weren't willing to work be taken advantage of anymore. FTFY interviewer. The line in the sand has moved too far in favor of employers and workers are pushing the line back. We are watching this play out in real time. Learning how so many lack empathy and vision of how things will play out if left unchecked. Employers need reminding of their societal obligations. How they can either uplift a community or destroy it. To expect pushback from employees who refuse to sit idly by and let their community be destroyed. Oof. Company is utterly out of touch. If they're only offering $16 under those conditions no wonder no one wants to work. This ain't rocket science. 
I worked off-site at a large research laboratory a few years ago and they had opening for postdocs. Paying £13,900 a year. I often wondered what the candidates were like. Bearing in mind I worked with a couple of PhDs on a telescope project who didn't know what Pythagoras's theorem was. GIF $16 per hour to be in the rain and extreme heat. Problem is, with that pay you're competing with McDonald's for workers and McDonald's looks like the better gig. Willing to be exploited anymore. I'm sorry. I can't work for you. In these 30 minutes I realized that I don't like you a single bit. Actually, I think I already hate you. Please refrain from contacting me again. $16 per hour as a welder? F that, go union bro. I make 19 per hour stocking shelves at Target, $16 for something as difficult as welding is absurd. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.